Hello Libra, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Libra? Messages for a sign of Libra. Okay, so right off the bat, the Six of Cups and the Magician. It looks like someone from the past is trying to manifest you back into their life, unless you're manifesting this person. It looks like this is someone who let you down in the past with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So you had a lot of high hopes when it uh, came to this connection between you and this person, but they let you down. And I'm getting that you're finally at a place where you're not even stressing over this connection anymore. The challenge in this situation is the lack of communication. And you know, this person really thinks very highly of you. That's the thing. But they've never expressed the way they truly feel because they view you in this empress energy. So whether you're male or female here, they view you as someone who's very abundant in beauty and life. Just in general, you have a very loving and nurturing energy. I'm sorry, they're cutting the, the yard out there, so... Um, but they think very highly of you, but they lack to tell you that. Outcome is the lovers. It looks like two of you are going to work everything out, uh, to be honest. So I definitely am getting like there's a strong connection between you and this person. And it looks like two of you are going to decide to work things out. Let me get a little bit more about this. You're going to choose each other. The three of cups or three of swords. I'm sorry. You know, I what I'm getting is there you're going to be faced with an ultimatum. And you're basically going to say, like, does the good outweigh the bad? Yes, they disappointed you in the past. I'm not getting that they put you in like a third party situation or anything like that. But it looks like you're going to say, okay, maybe right now, you know, it still hurts. You're, you're still hurting from the heartache, the pain that this person has caused you. But I'm getting that you're basically saying like the good outweighs the bad when it comes to the situation between you and this person. Because it looks like you'll be accepting their offer. You haven't given up on this just yet. Okay, let's see. You know, the energy that they're guiding you to release is the Queen of Wands and the Star in Reverse. Um, the Star in Reverse talks about not being your true authentic self. But with the Queen of Wands, you come across like you're very sure about yourself. You feel like people view you as someone who's very confident, like you have it all figured out. But you don't truly feel that way about yourself. So they're trying to get you out of this energy of just kind of like faking it until you make it is basically what I'm getting and really realizing that you are that person. <laughs> like you are, you've been playing this role. Well, at least you view yourself as playing a role, but they're like, no, this is who you actually are. You actually are this badass person, but you don't truly feel that way about yourself. The high priestess in reverse. The tower is showing up in your energy as well. Um, I want to see if this has already occurred because it looks like there may be a tower moment that has recently happened or is about to happen. And you'll find yourself saying like, damn, I really should listen to my intuition. And you're going to regret taking someone else's advice over your own intuition, over what you are actually being guided to do. What is this tower about? Let's 
justice in reverse. With the temperance in reverse, this also talks about allowing someone to disrupt your inner peace. Justice in reverse, you felt like you were not treated fairly in this situation. Why are they going to regret not listening to their intuition? Um, Libra, quite, I hope I haven't been calling you guys Virgo, but quite possibly Libra, it looks like, um, there may be a situation and you may decide to just leave it alone because you're basically saying to yourself, it's not worth the battle. It's not worth the fight. You just want to move on from it. Yeah. You just want to free yourself of something here. And I'm getting in this situation, you are being guided to fight for what is right, to fight for your justice in a situation. Things will go better than you're expecting. Um, but quite possibly, you may not do it. You may listen to someone else's advice and not fight for something that you deserve here. Because I'm getting a situation where you're saying, no, oh, I'll just, you know, let it go. Even if it's like some, like if someone is given a position over you and you know you really deserve that position, but you feel like it's the more honorable thing to do to just let it go. I don't know, it's something along that line where you're basically saying, I'm not even like you're picking and choosing your battles and you're saying, okay, it's not worth the fight. But they're basically saying you do need to stand your ground in this situation. Because whatever happened wasn't right. Just follow your intuition. Whatever you're being guided to do, listen to that. Because it looks like someone here is not going to give you the best advice. And you'll end up regretting it. Either way, I don't... I, I definitely see like this tower being significant enough to disrupt, you know... Your peace is basically, but I don't see it like really shaking things up that much in your life. Let's see. Let's see who's currently focused on you. Someone who's upset that they're not getting any attention. With the moon card here, there may be something revealed about this person. Or someone who doesn't like the attention you get. And they may want to like expose something on you. What is this about? Uh, Libra, this is not love right here. It looks like it, this looks like a work situation, but it doesn't have to be because what I'm getting is you have someone who is jealous of you. They don't like the attention and the recognition that you've received. And so this person, this is someone that you, you confided in, in the past, because they're basically saying like, they have something that they can expose, like, um, something that they can reveal about you that a lot of people may be shocked to find out about, or they know that you don't want other people to know this. Um, I don't get that as anything like really serious. It's just you trusted this person with this information and the fact that they are going to try to use it against you is a problem. Because it looks like they've been holding on to this information and waiting for the right time to make an announcement here. Um, and right after this, the fool, but you know what, Libra is fine because when this person does this, it's finally going to set you free of this situation with this person. So whether this is romantic, it's at work, friends, family, whoever it is, whatever they're about to do is going to allow you to officially set yourself free of this connection with this person. Whatever attachment there is between you and this person, you'll finally be free of it. So it's all going to work out the way it's supposed to. What is your advice for Libra? What is the advice for Libra? Let's 
stands your ground. Every time I was in the uh, the emperor here, wow. Um, I'm getting that you need to establish healthy boundaries in a certain situation. Also speaking your truth. Some of y'all may have to, some of y'all, this may be a situation at work where you have to address an issue with um, someone who's in authority, with them, uh, someone who's in a position of authority with the emperor energy. And you need to be very clear and direct with what you're communicating to this person. Give me one more about this advice. Two of Swords. I am, you know, Libra, I am getting a situation at work because it looks like a decision will be in this emperor's hands. So this could be like the president of a company, the CEO, but this is someone who's in a position of authority here. And it looks like you will be addressing an issue with this person. They want you to be very clear and direct about whatever you're communicating to them. Because um, something is a team effort. Let me see. Oh, and then the uh, King of Swords is coming out. The other message that I'm getting, Libra, is if someone's in, if someone is in the process of going through a divorce or you're in the process of separating from someone, because the ruling is in uh, this emperor's hand, like the decision is theirs. But you guys, it looks like you're trying to decide, do you want to continue to fight for something? Do you want to continue to work on something here? In that case, what is it? The Hierophant. It... Uh, the message that I'm getting is that you are being guided to walk away from something. And it may sting a little bit, but you'll get over it. Take time to heal. Take time to yourself as well. Um, but it looks like you try to work out something long enough. Like you tried to resolve an issue. It's been long enough and you're not getting the results that you want. So it's time to let this go. Even though it may sting, you'll be fine. You'll recover. Let me pull one more and now I'm going to close this out. Final message for Libra. I don't know who this person is. I'm not sure if it's romantic or I, I am getting like something happening at work, but I'm not 100% sure who it is, but it is someone who, it looks like they will apologize for what they've done, but you're being advised to just keep moving on with your life because it doesn't seem like it's sincere. They, they're coming across like they're emotionally immature as well. And they may make demands out of other people that they're not able to live up to themselves, so... I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.